Hello there, Scorpio. Let's get into your messages for March 22nd through the 29th. We just finished closing out the last essentially solar cycle as far as the zodiac goes with our spring or vernal equinox. So it is over. Excuse me, new beginnings with Aries season. Yay! But also, I feel like the Empress wanted to come out for you. And the Ten of Wands, because that is fitting. And also the Four of Pentacles was here, but that was for Libra. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to these in a second, but I want to mention that the full moon is happening in... Libra on the 28th of this week and so through the whole week I'm, I'm gonna do a bigger reading about all of this but I'm, it's it's about um, and, and how to like navigate that use the energy to it to the its highest potential for, for you in particular um, but anyway the energy is all about the conflict between what we think other people want us to be and who we really want to be how we what we do for other people versus what we do for ourselves so that yeah it's all about your relationships with other people and in the the moon when the moon shines on that sign it's like how do you feel inside about that and so with this energy here coming up for this week between the empress and the ten of wands you're like i i am such a capable person i can do so much why am i spending so much time doing all these things for other people Oh, because the Empress is about create creativity. It's about abundance. It's about being able to like, it's, it's really ownership of the earth and all of its abundance and being able to use that because the earth brings all this abundance to, to the Empress and it's there for her because it knows that she's going to take really good care of it. She's going to use the resources to their highest potential. And so you're like, why am I using all of this beautiful energy that I possess to carry burdens for other people? And that, and I feel like in this case, you're really wondering whether or not these other people that you're carrying burdens for are even using, like if they're just totally taking advantage of you and it's all just like going down and empty, like a bottomless pit. All this work is going down, going, amounting to nothing. Working and working and working to take care of other people. And it's like they're not going to take, use it. They're not going to take good advantage of it. Um, so you're really wondering about that. And I guess what really matters in the long run, the, the advice that I would give to anyone in that situation, including myself, because I'm a very service oriented Virgo. So I'm always doing things for people. Um, there's always somebody I'm doing a lot for. It's usually my kids. And that's that's okay because it is my pleasure. That's what I was getting to. If If it is your pleasure to be of service to someone it's if it suits you in a symbiotic manner or if it just if it really gives you pleasure to do things for people by all means do it absolutely and never second guess whether or not you should be doing it unless like you're unless it comes to a point where you're not useful to them anymore unless the relationship changes unless the, what the person needs changes right so that's one thing but if it's not giving you pleasure and this guy doesn't look like he's happy this guy looks like his back is breaking under the weight. So if it's not giving you pleasure, you should absolutely not be doing it. You need to delegate that responsibility or at least it, um, just say, I'm not going to be doing that for you anymore. That's what you need to be doing. Okay. I would say it in a way like, I just don't have time for this. I need to be working on me right now. Not rudely. Very. Uh, there's, there's two ways of communicating. I'm sorry, three ways of communicating, but then there's like the spectrum, the extreme spectrum that are the two that I was going to mention. Um, the other, the other two ways of communication are compliant, which is like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, it's, I'm so busy and I like explaining things away. That's being compliant with the other person. And a lot of people don't even want to hear that from you. <laughs> they want to hear, I can do it or I can't do it. The other extreme is defiant, where you're turning into a B-I-T-C-H, and you're just like, I'm not doing it. You're a jerk. I can't believe you laid all this work on me. You're, you're, you're a bad person for making me do it. All right? That's defiant. We don't want to be compliant. We don't want to be defiant. We want to be somewhere in the middle where we're saying, I know that you didn't intend for me to have to carry such a heavy burden, but I can't do it anymore. I hope, I wish for you the best. I wish the best for you in 
going ahead and doing this yourself or not having it done at all, which is probably what would have happened if they were left to do it themselves. Blech. Scorpio, this is where I finish off. I think that's some pretty good advice for your week going forward. If you've, this is the first time you've seen me, I'm Michelle B. Make sure you subscribe if you love my vibe because I post readings on a regular basis a few times a week. So I will see you later on after you get subscribed. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.